Hello and welcome to the microwave engineering lecture titled VisWar and Gamma on Smith Charts. In this lecture, we will learn how to determine the voltage standing wave ratio or VisWar. We will also learn how to determine the reflection coefficient gamma. In the previous lectures, we learned how to derive the Smith chart. We also learned how to plot the impedance and admittance on the Smith chart. Now, I will drive your attention to the horizontal bars that are located at the bottom of the Smith chart and are highlighted here. If we zoom in, we will see three different horizontal lines with different values for different parameters. In the top line, in the upper half, the VISWAR is shown here. In the middle line at the bottom half, the reflectance coefficient squared is shown here. And at the bottom line at the upper half, the reflection coefficient gamma is shown here. Now we will learn how to determine the visor. In this example, a 50 ohm line is connected to a 75 plus J10 ohm load impedance. Normalizing the load impedance gives us this. The first step is to plot the normalized load impedance on the Smith chart. The second step is to draw a circle centered on the Smith chart that intersects this point. Finally, the visor is read where the circle crosses the real axis on the right side. In this case, the visor is equal to 1.55. Here is another example. A 50 ohm line is connected to a 20 minus J40 ohm load impedance. The first step is to normalize the load impedance to obtain this. Then we draw the visor circle centered on the Smith chart. And finally, we read the visor value at the right side of the intersection. As you can see, it is very easy to determine the visor using the Smith chart. Now, using the same example, the reflection coefficient can be found in the horizontal bars located here. We can also locate the visor at the left side of the circle by looking at the top horizontal bar. <laughs> 